So last night I did make my switch over to the Dvorak keyboard layout. So that's on my work computer, my personal computer, my cell phone, and my tablet. Uh, my, my plan is I'm going all in. So there's going to be no QWERTY in my life for the next, uh, next at least five weeks. I printed off individual stickers for all of the new keys and put them on my work keyboard. It's like obviously on my mobile devices, they have, a, it's just a software screen, software keyboard. And I've also printed out cheat sheets like this. I'm switching to the Dvorak layout because I'm interested in accuracy or typing speed increase. Uh, as a, a side benefit, I'm hoping that there'll be a little bit less wrist strain because I've had some uh, wrist tendon type of issues. So copying and pasting for me is normally, you know, mouse in the right hand, control V, control C, where I'm holding control with my left pinky and doing the C and the V with, me with my left index. C and V on the Dvorak layer are both on the right side of the keyboard, so I'm gonna have to move my left hand a lot when I'm doing copying and pasting. And I'm, I'm hoping I can get up to speed on that, but on the other hand, I feel like the strain of reaching for control V, control C, uh, it was actually, it was kind of one of the issues that would kind of bother my wrist the most. So maybe by switching it up, that will go away. That's what I'm hoping. This is what my keyboard looks like now. A and M key stay the same. Everything on the home row, which is like the middle row, these are like by far the letters you type the most often. Because of that, I'm, I'm quickly learning those. These guys up here are a problem. I'm starting to learn like the C, R, and L because you type those a lot but everything on the bottom row is just a disaster. I'm just stabbing randomly at keys and getting random output. I put stickers on here using one of these little like label maker kind of things. So this, I mean, this, this is a, a regular QWERTY keyboard. It's just, it's a software setting. So uh, it's, it's really quick to add in Windows 10. You do it in like control panel input. The thing where it throws me off is, all right, and this is a serious complaint. I'm gonna have to Google this or I'm committed to Dvorak keyboard layout. For whatever reason, Windows 10, when it locks, it seems to revert back to the English keyboard on the unlock screen. And you can change that too. But like every time I've typed in a password, I have to change that. And at home with Windows, I mean with my Surface Pro 4, I use the Windows Hello. So it's all like face recognition. So it's not a problem. But here, like I got here and I was like really excited. I get to type in my new password on the new keyboard. And I did it wrong like three times in a row, and I realized it was because I'm like I looked down the lower right, it had, on the login screen, it switched to the, the wrong keyboard. I'm like, mm. so these are the types of things that they're just part of the process. I think like a lot of that I'll get used to or learn, you know, to deal with. But for the first couple days, I feel like there'll be a lot of things like that. So I feel like it's a conservative estimate that probably at least three or four percent of my day is typing. If I can improve my typing speed by 30 to 50 percent, and people claim Dvorak, you can get up to 100 percent improvement. I don't think that's true, but I think I, mean, I think that's ambitious. But I, I, I can I can imagine like a 30 to 50 percent seems reasonable to me. Basically, it's going to make my workday like at least like one or two percent more efficient. I feel like over the course of my lifetime, that could easily pay for the the time commitment and the hassle commitment of you know maybe two to four weeks that I would spend uh, trying to learn this. Starting a week ago, I've, every day I take a typing test, typing speed test. Uh, usually I do it mid-afternoon. So my, my typing tests have been averaging like upper 60s, mid 70s for words per minute. My estimate for being successful is if I said I want a 30 to 50 percent improvement, uh, it, it looks like people are, are saying like 90 to 100 words a minute typing speed is, is pretty good with Dvorak, so that's kind of what I'd like to see. Like I, I'd say if I get consistently over 90 to 100 words per minute, I'm going to consider this a success. So this is an example of what my typing speed looks like on basically this, this first day. The, I have to look at the keys for some of these. The quick, yeah, where's K? Round Fuck Don't Yeah, and also uh, <laughs> The 
punctuation keys are all in weird places, and that is going to take some getting used to as well. O and space L I T T E space. And uh, let's see. E space. 50 characters per minute. That's 10 words per minute. Point six seven I guess percentile so less like for one percentile that's not very good it's Friday so it's like I've been using the um, the Dvorak since Wednesday night so really it's the it's kind of the start of my full second day of using it but I just had a hilarious problem which is I uh, rebooted my laptop and BitLocker definitely does not use or honor the Dvorak keyboard and I've got stickers on all of my keys, so I can't see what they are. So, and I, I was actually starting to have trouble remembering where many of the letters are. So I had to look at someone else's keyboard to remind myself. And I turned on like the insert button so you can see the characters as you type them, of course. I've been using the Dvorak keyboard uh, for about a week, eight days. Copy and paste has been much less of a problem than I thought because you can just use right click on the mouse to do that. So instead of using keyboard shortcuts, I'm actually just using right click to do copy and paste. It's only slightly slower. The biggest issue I've seen that typing is slower, like five times or eight times longer. It's very mentally exhausting. There's a lot of very like effortful thought required to type something, even at a slow speed. It's not exactly the same, but the closest analogy is like being in another country where you're being forced to speak a second language that you don't know really well. But the, the most positive part is in the from the first day till today, my typing speed has roughly doubled from about 10 words per minute to around 20 words per minute. All of the command line work in uh, like in Linux, uh, or or in VI, I don't think about those things as I type them. They're just natural, and so I, like it is almost impossibly difficult to use Linux command line or VI or VI shortcuts or all those things. Like those years I spent learning those, it's basically not there at all. So that is, I would say that is the biggest downside to Dvorak to me at this point. Uh, it's probably not a reason enough for me to quit it because if I ever had to go back to doing that like full time, I think I'd, I'd pick it up again real quick. But for me to like jump in every now and then and use like the you know the keyboard shortcuts I'm used to, it's a disaster. So it has been quite a while since my last update. I had meant to take the typing test every day. So today is May twelfth. Uh, the last test I took was actually April 4th, and uh, I had first started typing with Dvorak on April, or excuse me, February 9th. So I've been doing this just over three months. Obviously this is much longer than the five or six weeks I had originally planned on doing it, but I think I can sort of draw my conclusion at this point. One thing that's surprising to me is that learning Dvorak has only affected my two-handed typing, Whenever I try to type something one-handed, uh, I probably still type the same speed and the same way I would with QWERTY, and I'm actually terrible at typing one-handed on the Dvorak keyboard layout. Like, I really have to think about it. That means that if I'm in a situation where I need to use a QWERTY keyboard, it's actually faster. It's better for me to just only use one hand because then I instinctively know where all the keys are. It's kind of a weird thing, uh, but it's really helpful, uh, like when I need to enter my BitLocker uh, password. Okay, using VI shortcuts, uh, those are still terrible, but I'm starting to learn just enough to get by. It's tough to say, but that's probably the most uh, painful part about switching, is that things that I used to do so quickly in VI uh, are difficult, and I, I'm probably doing more things in like regular Notepad or Notepad++ compared to what I used to do. The stickers on the key, the keyboard, on my wireless keyboard, like the built-in keyboard on the laptop doesn't have them. So what I find that they're most helpful for is just the first key that I need to press. So if I come up, 
out of the blue and start typing, like I'll like freeze and have trouble thinking about it. But if I look down, I'm like, okay, I want to type an F, put my finger there, start typing, and then from there on, it's very smooth. I'm right around like 200 uh, uh, characters per minute, so about 40 words per minute, like 30 or 40 percent back of the envelope slower than what I was typing with QWERTY before. Uh, so in that sense, the change has been a failure. It's take, you know, it's taken me like three months instead of one month, and I'm still typing, you know, noticeably slower than I was with QWERTY. My job isn't just sitting and typing all day, it's mostly thinking and occasionally typing or composing emails where you're thinking and going back and forth and editing. Absolute, you know, fast as possible typing speed is not really a limiting factor. Uh, so my typing speed is continuing to go up over time, and I do intend to continue using the Dvorak. When I first made the switch over, I was having a lot of wrist problems, and certain key stretches were, were I was noticing were causing me a lot of issues, especially in my left wrist. And that's pretty much gone away. Maybe it just got better on its own, or maybe uh, it is related to the switch, but I, I think Dvorak is known for having less stress on your wrists. So, uh, I'm very happy with it in that sense. I, right now, am typing generally fast enough to keep up with what I want to do for work. There are times, especially maybe on like a mobile or a tablet, where the QWERTY, or excuse me, where the Dvorak layout feels slower, and that's probably because I'm doing more of the one-handed typing. But during you know normal keyboard use, writing emails or writing SQL queries, uh, it feels fine to me. Occasionally. If I'm working, if I'm collaborating with someone, I'll need to kind of slide my laptop over and they type in something real quick. And needless to say, that's a problem because they don't know Dvorak. But fortunately, Windows 10, uh, when you change the keyboard layout in the lower right, it lets you just quickly uh, change between them. So like, right now it's on Dvorak, but I can just click and then change it to the regular QWERTY layout. That's why, for me, I'm saying the key is to go all in. There's going to be no QWERTY in my life. It's dead to me.